Hey everyone, I'm doing this in post currently right now. Uh, it's lovely to meet you. I'm Celeste. Sorry, I had to line up the audio currently since I'm not recording it together. Uh, this is actually before today's episode when I was playing by myself, just, you know, kind of grinding, getting some nook points so I could do the island more, so I could get more uh, people onto my island and just all around, you know, just grow my island uh, more and more just so I could have some new things so I can show you uh, every single day. Uh, when the game comes out, for the uh, when, when a video comes out, and here I found Celeste staring up at the stars above, and she teaches you how to look up at the stars and make a wish, which is something that's been in Animal Crossing for uh, quite some time, and she ends up giving me a DIY recipe that allows me to change myself, uh, a magic wand, uh, where you get to make a wish, which is happening right now. And uh, it seems rather expensive, from what I understand. Um, I ended up looking at it later on in the episode, because I just wanted to save it for the episode, instead of just me playing the game now um, for myself. Uh, the wand ends up having a property to change yourself in some way, or change who you are. Maybe you get to change your sex or something. I don't know. Uh, whatever it may be. Uh, and then, maybe it's to change your name. Who knows? Uh, but I ended up finding Wisp here. Uh, and also the components to craft it is uh, cost star pieces, which is kind of crazy. But we have Wisp here, um, our favorite little ghost boy, our handsome little ghost boy. We ended up spooking him. Um, I thought it was a boo uh, at first because I'd seen people post on Twitter that it was a boo, but no, we actually scared our little Will O Wisp buddy, and sadly he's not working like Will O Wisp do in <laughs> actual folklore <laughs> where they lead you into the woods and shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, one of the most dangerous enemies in Dungeons & Dragons, uh, putting people under genjutsus, if you will, uh, to get with the Naruto things. But we scared away five pieces of them, so we have to go find them. And it was actually rather difficult. It probably took me around 25 minutes. The last piece, I think, went up on top of the island in an area where I can't go in the higher evolution. Uh, evolution. And I just had to walk around and just do random things. And I ended up making a quick cut going through it. And I was like, oh, I see a wisp right here. <laughs> I see, yes. He's like, no, I'm not a spur of peace. And then my game decided to, my recording software decided to die. But I was rendering during this point, so it's okay. But first off, caught the first one, no issue. Second off, my accuracy is a little bad, but hey. You know, all that matters is the one shot you don't take, and then I end up catching all of them, no issue. With the last one taking, uh, like, a majority of the time. I found the other ones in two minutes time, and, the other, and I had to wait, like, 18 minutes to do it. And I'm so happy, I'm like, oh, thank God. I was getting so tired at this moment, I wanted to go to bed, I was like, oh, I'm so excited! Ah! Mr. Wisp Boy, come here! Come here! Hiya! I wanted to hit him, but I ended up pressing it too late, but hey, it's whatever. But I give him my wisp. Here you go. What's mine is yours, and what's yours is mine, comrade. He reforms into his true self, into a wonderful cutie boy. You want to give him a big old kiss on his lips, maybe drink some hot cocoa with him. Whatever it may be. It would be cool if we had ghost villagers. You know, all we have close to that is Coco, which is like... Uh, I don't want to say she's a ghost, but th I wanted something expensive. I was like, give it to me. I was like, I'm going to sell it. I got a house mortgage to pay, bitch. Give me the money. And he gave me a red and black uh, vinyl floor. Which I looked at it. The textures look beautiful, but it's not something I'm really much into. And you get an achievement for it. Wispy Island Secret. Uh, it looks like you could see him multiple times. Uh, Cowardly Ghost are the things you get. And here I am just putting it on the floor, seeing what it is. Uh, I got the red and black vinyl flooring. That's what he gave me. And, um, not what I'm into, uh, to be completely honest with you. I kind of like the camel flooring just because I have this aesthetic of, like, someone who doesn't give, give a shit about themselves. <laughs> but, hey, it's whatever. Back to the main episode. And we're back with a wonderful late night. I am having trouble sleeping, so I wanted something to do. I'm just kind of like feeling a little out of it. Uh, I did mention that my D&D &D game yesterday was cancelled and it's supposed to be played weekly but we haven't really done that in quite some time ever since one of the players uh, 
quit the game, so it's just, you know, it's just, and it's like one of the things that I love doing, I'm the DM, uh, I'm the one who makes the game, so it's like, I'm like, you know, we finally get a chance to play after a couple weeks, and then, uh, you know, we can't, so, I'm a little messed up about it, but that's okay, we're playing, uh, Animal Crossing, also it doesn't help that pretty much all my D&D work that I worked on pretty much got deleted when my hard drive died a couple weeks ago, so that kind of sucks too, but hey, we're not going to have a sad episode of Animal Crossing, <laughs> even though I'm in my feelings. As you can see, it's 2.38, like my eyes feel super droopy. I don't stay up this late anymore. Uh, at all. Um, I used to stay up this late for my job way back when I was a baker. Uh, but now in this current moment of time where I'm not doing that anymore, it's just very jarring. Uh, I'm sure you, Oh, how'd you get over there, Celeste? I like Celeste because sometimes she'll look up at the stars and it's adorable. And I love her. She's one of my favorite characters. Look up at the stars so we can look up at it together. And as you can see, I'm wearing a really bitchin' hat. Look at that, she's looking up at the stars. Isn't that adorable? Her little head's just craned up. <laughs> she's cute. <laughs> she's like, ha, that's enough for me. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I actually changed my hair. Uh, boom! What is this? Ooh. A longhorn beetle. Orangey happy. Oh, I already have one of these. I actually think I have one in my inventory. Yeah. Alright, buddy. You can go away. Boom! Run! <laughs> uh, Celeste actually gave me this item. A Star Wars, which you guys didn't see in the little pre-recorded thing I showed in the beginning, but apparently this allows me, me to change my gender and whatnot, so, and it could change anything about me. Um, and what's really cool is that Animal Crossing has been kind of really fluid uh, with your customizations. Uh, me personally, I'm a guy with long hair, uh, right? And there's not a lot of good long hairs in this game. This is usually the reason why I'm wearing a hat uh, in this game. So I got this, which is uh, in a bun. You know, it's a girl hair. Girl hair. I look like a girl, but I have a boy character. Uh, but it doesn't really bother to me too much. But I'll wear this because it looks cool. And it kind of goes with my outfit, even though this is completely something I'm not totally into, but it looks good. The colors go together, so... Why not? I look like a... I look like a Pokemon trainer if they made the colors not kind of like base and regular. Let's see, there it is. Let's get one of those. My allergies have been going crazy. For anyone who's watching this and watched my Wild World series, you know that my allergies have always been absolutely terrible and uh it's just a bad time and uh i live in illinois and it just snowed we just got like four inches of snow which is upsetting super upsetting out of nowhere uh but hey tis like that is a new butterfly gimme what are you? An emperor. It's not your average monarch. True. Uh, for those of you who are still watching from the first episode, sort of skipping through, I, I don't know if you ever noticed that I was having trouble reading. It's because I have my headphones on too loud. Uh, I usually have them on loud just because I like to drown out noise. But when it comes to like recording, which is something I haven't done in like half a year. It's like, ooh, it's not good. 
I also have like a different cadence. You can definitely tell my cadence is a little bit different. I'm not I'm not doing an announcing yelling tone, I guess you can say. Uh, but that's okay. I know some people don't like it. But thank you for watching. Again, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Any bottles around here? Actually, I want to look at what that wand looks like. Look at that. Large star fragment and a star fragment. Huh. I guess I get that from wishing on stars, huh? What you doing? What? Come back for more, huh? Must be winning personality room. Wanna chat? Oh, that reminds me. I heard you were helping build us a shop. That's right. Knew it. Well, thank you for doing it. You're a part of Ariel. Oh, I got an idea. If they got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. Oh, what is it? I figure you're probably gonna need that more than me. Go give it a swing. What is it? Is it just an axe? Did he give me another axe? Okay, he gave me another axe, which is cool. Well, this is a stone axe variant, not the flimsy. Now, I don't know if the stone axe can break. Excuse me, let me release this. He doesn't need to be in here. Here. You don't belong in a museum. Even though I think you're a saltwater fish, but hey, whatever. Uh, I've personally decided that we should probably donate maybe like three items. And we can learn about animals every single day. Just, you know, three items. So we got one, two, and then let's do a fossil because these usually take a little bit longer. Now, I did go in here. I was like, wait, I thought I already went in here for a video. But I didn't. Uh, so sadly, my first reaction to the beautiful, absolutely gorgeous inside is not... You know, I don't want to fake it for you. But it's gorgeous. Look at these colors. Oh, oh I like... I want my room to be these colors. It's so beautiful in here. I wish I could change the perspective of the camera. Let's see if I can do that with my this just look at this look at this look at this place it looks so beautiful i love it it does remind me of resident evil but ugh, it's wonderful blathers your sister's outside what's up bud uh I, yeah uh, we have the option to tell me about this where i can bring him an item and he'll tell me about it uh which is cool so we can hear the descriptions over again if we ever re-catch it. <laughs> Did that reverberate inside of this place? Oh, look at the textures of the stairs. They look so beautiful. They're so high quality. It's ridiculous. Uh, after some consideration, I can safely declare that this fossil, this fossil of a brachio pelvis. Superb indeed splendid. A rare fossil we do not yet have in our collection. Uh, okay. I'm donating. Yes, please. Uh, Brachiosaurus, whose name means arm lizard. Ihuhut <laughs> was one of the largest herbivore dinosaurs. Due its long front legs and a long neck, it seems to have specialized in eating plants up high. Unless in order to support its large sides, it's likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. What a ferocious forger it must have been indeed. And that's what I have to say about it. I actually know a little bit about this, uh, the Brachiosaurus. Um, a, before we started, you know, be, when paleontology was a little bit like, a, you know, just starting out, we were just pretty much guessing fossils, right? Um, when this fossil, when this fossil was found, they're like, whoa, it's super gigantic. Nothing like this can like support itself. It's like literally impossible. These animals had to be submerged in water and live their life as aquatic creatures with their long necks coming out of the water to eat trees, right? And also eat the stuff at the bottom uh, of seafloor beds, right? Fun fact, they could have supported their weight uh, just because their bones were 
hollow. Uh, they were the first giraffes, as you can say. I, I don't actually. I don't know perfectly that their bones were hollow, but their bones were similar to a giraffe's. Apparently, a giraffe's bones are vastly brittle. But I don't know if any of you seen giraffes fight before. I have, but like, <laughs> it's a little fucking violent. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, I, I wanted to know about him. Ugh, actually not learning. Let's see. I actually wanted to know about the, uh... Well. False assessment. Uh, anonymous something or other. That's an interesting form of letters. I've never heard of something over there before. Let's go to the buds. That sucks. I wanted to know. I wanted to know about the Emperor Butterfly. It's not real good. Don't mind the cut. That was just me blowing my nose. Alright, let's see here. Citrus Longhorn Beetle. Donated by Luna. Do you count as one? Look at the Emperor Boy flying over water. Look at that. Not enough stuff in here, but this is my first time actually seeing the setup for the bugs, and this is actually really, really cool. Uh, is this for, like, water skitters? Huh. Where does this go? Ooh! And they also get brought into here. It's like they're in a, like a botanical garden. This is actually really, really cool. Look at them all chilling. All my boys. All my common boys. Sick. I like this. Imagine taking someone on a date here. It's actually be quite romantic. Eh? I always wanted to go on a date in the museum, but I live too far off from the city. <laughs> it's literally like a four-hour drive. Uh, I live in the middle of nowhere. Good. Keep your ass in a cage. Bastard. I'm assuming this is where Scorpion goes. Uh, what is this? What goes here? Huh. What goes here? Yeah. Beetles? Oh, that's cool. You know, like, uh, excuse me, little boy. We actually breed them. So that's really cool that you can see that right there. I like that. The top looks really cool. I also like all the like the knickknacks everywhere. It's really cool. I just really want to know what goes into there. Some sand. Sam, sk the, the skitter bugs? The things that were on the summer island, I'm assuming? Ah, no, this is where the beetles go. Look at this. Is this just going to be a tree with a bunch of beetle boys on it? Suck it up, honey, like Heracross suck it up on the bubble store? Oh yeah, tons of Beetle Boys here. Tons of Beetle Boys here. I can sense it. I haven't gotten a lot. Uh, I only got like two. I got this one that has a face on it. It's kind of weird. Right, let's go check the fishies. Let's see how they're doing in their natural habitats. I wonder how they're gonna how how they're gonna animate that one fish, that giant fish, not that angler, but like. That giant river fish. This is gorgeous. What the heck? Can I sit here? Look at that. Living your best life here. Oh, a lonely little tank. Sorry about that. Let's see. Looks like a lonely little carp in there. I'll get more buddies for you soon. I actually have a lot more, but we're gonna be donating a little slowly, okay? <laughs> Upstairs, this is gonna take me to what? What am I seeing here? Ooh. Is this ocean fishies? It is pretty cool. Look at that school of fish just 
getting ready to turn into a giant wishy-washy. Take it down more. What is this? What goes on display here? What the heck? I have no idea what goes on display there. Yeah, I, okay, so I wasn't reading signs because I knew they were just going to say the same thing over and over again. Oh! That's cool! Look at that! Blah! Blah! That's sweet, huh? Oh, that's a fire extinguisher thingy. It's very Japanese. Oh, you can probably see fishies under here. This looks like a Metroid container, right? Hmm, yes, I see. I see. More fishies below you. Cool. The tank below me. Ooh. I can walk into it. Nice. It looks like I'm right here with you. At least you have someone. Oh, wait. No, you don't. You're alone, too. I'm sorry. Nope. There's another one. <laughs> Just bassing it up. I feel like they're two bass. A sea bass and a regular bass. Or the royal bass. Or whatever, whatever it was called. That's pretty neat. Hello, Blathers. <laughs> He's like, did he just call me Bladders? Okay. So this is it. This is the fossil exhibit. Walking up through it. Okay. I wonder what that is. I thought I was going to find the poop there, but I guess not. Look at that. It has, like, names on the floor. So you can follow to go... Which everywhere. Look at this. Oh my god. Look how tall this boy is. This is the Brachiosaurus. Oh. Oh, there's the poop. Look, the poop's right there. Look at that. They're so big. I guess they were big in New Leaf, but seeing them like this, look, it's so high quality. They're just beautiful. Alright, what's over here? I saw the stairs and I was like, take me higher. What is this? What does this mean? Huh. I wonder what that exhibit means. I wonder what it does standing there. There's a light that lights up when you stand in place. Also, it's a little magnetic when you stand there. Um, oh! When this is canon in the Animal Crossing universe? I guess it would have to be, right? Just like in the Stardew Valley universe, there was a, uh, a, a, there's a giant war going on or something like that. And you're like, uh, excuse me? War in my Stardew Valley? It's like, well, there's a giant corporation, you know? Make people and puppets. Joja. 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 Yeah, Joja. Good stuff. Let's see. I think we should take you to my room. Take you to my room. Hello. Take you to my room. Don't be shy. Put some more. So my room has changed. It's pretty much me putting things in places. Pretty much uh, how I would set it up, right? I got a table with a stand with music on it. It's playing, or it's playing like weird. Uh, is Oriental not a good word to say? I don't know. Some Asian theme music uh, with my bath towels uh, and a 
a, a sprig of mint to rub on my body or slap myself with. And then I got my cot that I could sleep with and I'm watching YouTube on my Nintendo Switch right there, right? Uh, and I got the light right behind me so I can just smack it so I don't gotta get up. I got my cork, my cork board with all my dreams that I won't accomplish on it, but I have it there just to keep myself positive, right? Just to keep positive outlook on life. And then we also have my full-length mirror, which pretty much can change every aspect of my body. I can literally change my my color, my skin, my cut, my eyes, my mouth. Uh, I'm going to actually go with that nose, to be honest with you, because I think that looks better. Even though I look a little feminine, feminine, but that's fine. I remember in high school, people used to, uh, I used to be tricked, I not used to be tricked. I used to trick it to be thinking I was a girl. No, uh, I used to, um, be mistaken as a girl. Excuse me. Uh, I think that's the proper terminology there, sir. I used to be mistaken as a girl. Uh, and actually, you know what's something I just noticed? I didn't even, uh, set forward the date, so let me go do that really quick. God damn it, Gulliver. You end up washing on my island literally two days after it. Literally two days after everything. But it is, in fact, a new day. Uh, I forgot to change over the date like a dummy. It's 3 a.m. Currently, that's the same time it should be at the moment. Dummy me didn't, forgot to change the clock. I have been time traveling just so I could, like... You know, play my game a little bit more. But that's fine. Catalog, Dropbox, all these cool stuffs. Looks cranny. Cool. Is that supposed to be Isabel calling? Her wanting to go on a break? Wonderful Isabel. I'm glad they brought her back. You know? She, uh, she became a fan favorite, like, really fast. And she's absolutely hilarious, to be completely honest. Oh, that was loud. That made my audio spike. I just noticed that. Daisy May, who's this? I'll be heading to your island uh, every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Just the way my grandma used to. Oh my god, that's adorable! She has her her granddaughter do it! Joan's granddaughter. <laughs> what you got me, weirdo? I, oh yeah, I hit off my home. So this is... A literal south pole, okay. And a vacuum cleaner. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let me throw down my vacuum cleaner really quick. Let me place that there. Boom. Oh, it's not the type of vacuum cleaner I thought it was going to be a push vacuum cleaner. Not a... I guess these are a little bit more efficient. They got... They got a bigger suck power, right? Uh, let's see here. Dream house. Oh. Looks like it upgraded three more times. Before I cannot. Just fine. Oh, there's my orange tree. Hello, orange tree. I love you. Love you. Just rubbing up all on ya. I remember when I was younger, I got locked out of my house. And, um... I ended up having pretty much an existential crisis. I was just kind of laying on the ground and was like, oh my god, what's going on? Am I going to die? Uh, what do you mean I can't live my life if my mom's not here? Uh, uh, I'm hungry, I have to go to the bathroom. Just everything was going through my head, pretty much. Uh, but I remember learning at school that if you breathe on trees, it will go strong. So I was like, well, since I'm going to die, I'm going to make the big trees in front of my house 
grow strong. And so after I got done picking up dandelions and wishing for the girl named Alexandria in my third grade class would fall in love with me, um, I just decided to start breathing very, very hard uh, on the trees after making my wish to have Alexandria fall in love with me. And she, she disappeared. She never came back to school. Stink bug. I actually want one of these. I want to put it in my house. I like his face. I think he's, I think he's got the face to uh, the making of uh, making of a man. And if I had a bug, I would actually just kind of like let it free. But you know, but you know, that's just not something we do. Uh, so we'll just uh, uh, put it on the, in the middle of the floor. So when people come into my house, they know what the fuck is up. You know. We also see that. I am not a basic bitch when I play The Sims. Uh, instead of placing everything lined up with the wall, I literally just kind of place everything a little bit off from the wall, but still lined up to it, you know? <laughs> oh! Little nubs. Little nubby boys. Oh, goodness. Big hiccups. Yeah. Tasty fossil. Alright, let's see here. I want a bottle. Give me a bottle. That's what I want. I want another new recipes. Give it to me. Where is it? Huh. Huh. Give me the recipes. Give me the recipes. Gulliver, you're staying there. I ain't helping you. You've been in the videos too often. You have more appearances than me. <laughs> How's that work, Luna? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yum. Look at all these fossils. All these animals really be living on this island, though. The hell, dude? The fuck, bruh? Step the fuck up, Kyle. Alright, let's see. Usually if I can't go to sleep, I spend my time watching TikTok videos for hours and hours on end. And in turn, I don't get tired. I just get more simulated because I just laugh at some of the stupid ones. Um, though recently, they have not been very uh, decent. My For You page has been very lackluster. And I find that very upsetting. Enough for me to throw myself on the ground and put my, uh, the back of my wrist to my forehead and say, woe is me. If only there was someone there who could save me. And then I'll, like, open up my eyes, because I closed my eyes when I fell, right? Because I'm trying to be dramatic. You know, you already know how this goes. And, um... And then I get up because people are ignoring me. I am going to take this fish and slam it into the ground as hard as I possibly can. Get out of here. I'm tired of your ass. I heard something weird. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. 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 Thank you. Is it weird that I think butterflies are like fem are females? Is it weird to think that? I don't know why I think it is. I don't know. I don't even know what makes me think it. Maybe because it's beautiful, right? I don't know. Giga Chat is beautiful. Who are you? Who's do it yourself, man? What? Here's the secret, and I secreted it. I was wa walking around yesterday, picking up DIY stuff, and I came up with a great recipe. I thought it smelled good, so I went, what? What? I wanted to share the smell with you. What are you giving me? Dude, I would need, give me that right now. That would clear my sinuses so well. So well. I'll put my nose in it. I don't care. You're like, Luna, it's literally hot coals. And you pour water on it. It's like, you think I don't know, Jennifer? 
You think I don't know, Megan? Do you hear how congested I am right now? I'm so congested, I'm accidentally biting my tongue because I'm talking different. Jennifer. Excuse me. I gotta learn about this handsome boy. The bluest boy. And then we'll call it a day. Blackers, sorry. Sorry for interrupting you. Tell me about this, Blackers. Tell me about it. What do you think? I know, I'm sorry. Uh, the Emperor Butterfly is called the Jewel of the Forest, but it's a vivid blue hue. Ew, let me tell you. The color does not come from a dye, but rather from light reflecting off layers of this translucent scales. Yes, butterfly wings are covered in tiny scales. Scales! Butterfly? Bah! More like snake of the sky. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. Cute. Now, Blathers, would you be upset if I just let this loose in here, huh? How upset would you be? Okay. Ooh, why am I holding it like that? No, thank you. I'm sorry, Blathers. I know you. <laughs> I know you don't like it. But I love you. Alright. Have a good day, little boy. Be good. Here I have to go call me a little boy. Anything interesting written out here? Nope. No littering. That's about it. Anything interesting from Mr. Nook and his two cousins? Nope, they're not in here. That's actually interesting. Oh. You found this much room here, yes? Nice to have a little extra space. Which brings us to the cost. It's a lot of money. Cool, thanks. Oh wow, that's a lot. When does it stop doing that? After a week? Because that's uh, actually crazy, not gonna lie. Uh, I have not gotten anything new here uh, after upgrading my house. Which, I'm not complaining. Oh, let's get some stylish hairstyles. Why not? I guess it gives me four fem female and four male styles. Uh, yeah, give it to me. Duh, thanks. This totally makes sense to me. Oh, I get new hair colors. Cool. I wonder if I can make it golden blonde. Oh, wait. I can already do that. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could, like, put streaks in your hair or something like that. But, eh. That's not a thing. Sadly. Or maybe it is. <sighs> Goodness. I'm actually yawning now. <laughs> now I'm getting close to the mic and I'm sniffing. Ooh, yum. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Change it up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Excuse me? Why is there no... Oh, that's cool. You can see what it looks like with it on. There is no uh, new hairstyles. Like, the, the, those are normal. I guess that's new. Uh... <laughs> What's new? I there's really nothing new here. That's not new. 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 This is the heck. New eyes? Oh, I got some new eyes. Or maybe I just kind of looked at the first area. No new mouse. No new that. Face paint. Choose your setting. Hmm. What does this do? Oh my god! 
I can add stuff to my face. That's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like the music notes on my face. I actually like this a lot. That's pretty, it's pretty sick. Now, what if I choose a guy? What does that do? Nothing. It literally changes nothing. Oh, well. I guess it really doesn't work out in the end, huh? How do you think about that, huh, little guy? Huh? Little stink bug? You got anything to say about that? Huh? 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 It's like, Master, please, do not rock the boat anymore. <laughs> well, that's about it, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful day. My name's Luna. As always, stay frosty. Have a good day, everyone. Get some sleep. <laughs> I need to get some sleep, but hey, my allergies are driving me crazy right now. <laughs> Bye.